Hello, and welcome back to another random Animal Crossing video. More on that later, but first, let's jump right into the news! Once it loads! I thought the title screen meant that it had finished loading. My very silly mistake. Yes. That sounds about right. Nature Day. Hmm. Ooh! If I like who's over at the campsite, that means I can kick somebody off my island. So yeah, had something real special planned for today. We were gonna finally go back to doing, you know, Fire Emblem. But, 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 Huh, well that's nice. Thank you for downloading the update. Yes. I'm guessing that somebody was making too much bank off their bank. And so the patch probably just fixed that. No. So yeah, Sam and I recorded a video, it was about 55 minutes long, and then Sam was supposed to edit it, but somehow it made it onto my external hard drive, and not only that, the only copy of the, you know, playthrough wound up on my external hard drive. Somehow he didn't just make a copy and put it on my di you know, my drive, he gave me the absolutely only one. Which is a little, a little shady. But whatever. Oops. Bell bag, right? hmm. Put it in storage. So yeah, I went through and I reduced the 55 minutes to a mere 40. And once I went to upload it, I needed to look and see what the episode number was going to be. So I went back. And what did I find? Our last episode was 4. But, the problem with that is, the episode we had just recorded was 10. So we were missing 5 chapters of freaking Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Well, I'll do that later. That wouldn't be too interesting. So, yeah. So here I am, recording an Animal Crossing right quick. But luckily, because I don't need to focus much on Animal Crossing, I can talk to you! And tell you, dear viewer, what has been going on in my life recently. That's gonna rot, and I'm gonna get an ant. Yeah. So anyway, like, when I was younger, and this is relevant to what's happening right now, I'm just providing a contrast. When I was younger, I was, like, super into anime, right? But, like, recently I haven't been as into it. I kind of figured I just grew out of it. But I've watched a few good ones lately, and I can aim my shovel, apparently. Which is kind of making me rethink that. Maybe I just grew out of the types of anime that I watched when I was younger, and now I'm actually enjoying it again. Yeah, the one that I'm currently watching now is BNA. Which is a furry anime by Studio Trigger. Which I've probably stated this, like, multiple times. But Studio Trigger is, like, my favorite animation company. So, you know, it was like when I was like, well, I don't like anime anymore. It was kind of like, I don't like anime anymore, but Studio Trigger, it was like the one exception. Da-da-da-da-da. Okay, Carmen. I already know this. Damn it, I'll send it. But yeah, my favorite anime overall is Kill a Kill. So, you know. 
I just love the animation style, though, a trigger, and they always do, like, over-the-top visuals and everything. It's very, it's very visually stunning. So, you know, and then sometimes they'll also, you know, like, sometimes the story's good, sometimes the visual is good, and when it's really good, it's both. Like, Kill a Kill was the big one, I'd say, for that. You know, it had both si yeah, style and substance. Didn't I just see Ruby around here? Hmm. But yeah, BNA, it's been interesting. I'm intrigued currently, but I don't think I know enough to be, like, enthralled by it. But I kind of imagine as it goes on, I'll like it more and more. I thought I saw something behind that one. Oh well. But yeah, it's really, really intriguing to me. And yeah, when I was talking to Sam about it, I think it was actually during the Mega Man 4 playthrough... Like, I mentioned, you know, I talked about B-Stars, and then I talked about the Whatchamadingle, what I was just saying, BNA. And he's like, oh, I guess Netflix is just into, like, furry. And that does seem to be the case, because I was, like, thinking about it earlier, and, like, to a degree, Retsko, or a Gretzko is kind of... I can't see behind here, and yet I'm expected to pick things? A Gretzko's kind of a furry thing, then they did B-Stars, and now they're doing B&A. Which, it's very interesting that, you know, like, maybe it's just a coincidence. Or maybe they are, like, well, to appeal to a certain demographic, I guess I gotta wait till it gets over further. We gotta have furry anime. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I like the style. I don't go to, con you know, like, whether I would be considered a furry or not, I think would mostly depend on a person's definition. I don't, like, go to conventions or anything. But I do enjoy the style. I can find furry things attractive. I'm just not gonna dress up and do anything like that. So I don't know. Maybe that's a little too much information, but hey, it's been provided for you. Do with it as you will. But yeah. So yeah, there's that. The other thing, yeah, some of the other things that I've been watching is like, Pokemon. I've been into that for like a while. The anime's been pretty good. I got kind of interested, you know, like, and picked up the anime for X and Y. And then, you know, I just continued on, like, right with when they started the Sun and Moon one, which I thought was, like, excellent. I will take that money. And then, yeah. And then the current one, it's, it's not bad. There's some things that bug me, but, you know, like, I wouldn't say it's Sun and Moon, but I don't know. Like, it seems like they're almost building to something big. Like, before... You know, before, Ash is just, oh, I'm gonna go around and do whatever, like, the regional variant of the gyms are. There is space behind here, you son of a... How am I supposed to clean weeds if I can't see the weeds? But yeah, it was always just like, you know, he was just kind of doing whatever there was to do in the area. It never really seemed to be, like, a long-term thing, I guess. I don't know. You could argue that he always wants to be champion, but it's not like he ever goes, oh, well, I lost this championship. I'm going to wait until next year and then try again. He's just like, oh, well, I lost that one. I'll go and see what other regions had to offer. Whereas with this one, he's working more towards... Um, he has fought Leon, like, once, and he wants to, like, enter the big, bad Pokemon League. You know, like... The world championship so he can fight him again. Yeah. And then, like, the guy that he's hanging out with, he wants to, you know, collect all the Pokemon and eventually work his way up to catching Mew. So, you know, like, becoming world champion and becoming, you know, like, collecting all the Pokemon. Well, I doubt that they're gonna catch all, like, what are we up to? Almost 900 at this point. In a single season, it is just like, it's one of those big goals in Pokemon that, you know, they never really touched on, so I don't know. 
it's interesting that they're doing it now. What was I gonna do in here? I don't think I was gonna do anything. I think I lost my train of thought. I don't have anything to deposit. Well, I'll put this in storage. There. It wasn't a waste. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, like, watching that. It's very intriguing. You know, I wouldn't say it's their best series, but then again, you know, give it time and maybe it will be. But then, yeah, like, the other thing, and this one, like, kind of surprised me. I finally got around to watching Devilman Crybaby, of all things. And, like, I watched the, I think it was the original anime of Devilman, and it was really bad. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. I think I talked to her as many times as I need to to get everything, but you know what? It's still nice to talk to her. But yeah, like, the original Devilman is... I am intrigued. I don't know if I have some of these or not. I just get so many things, I just don't know. Huh. Maybe I'll come back and yeah, I'll get one outfit now and then I'll come back later. But yeah, like the original Devil Man though, it was just kind of dumb. I'll come back because it was like very you know like you're it's it's devils right like Devil Man needs to fight the other demons and protect humanity and all of that. But, you know, like, so, you know, like, I don't know. It might be different in Japan where there's Shintoism, but, like, over here, where, you know, like, it's like, all oh, devil, that's evil. It's like, it seems a little heavier than maybe it should be. And, you know, like, I don't know. Like, for our standards... I'd say it'd be more geared towards adults because of that subject matter, right? But, you know, like, the Japanese, you know, like, anime, Devil Man, at least the original, it's, like, kind of dumb. There's, like, a lot of dumb, like, slapsticky stuff, for one. And then, like, the other thing is, you know, like, he calls out all his attacks names. He'll be like, Devil Kick! Devil Chop! Air, yeah, wing akata and like dumb stuff like that, right? And it's just like I can't take this seriously. I'm just curious. Okay, I'm glad I sold it earlier in the week. So you know, it's kind of dumb. And like the other thing that's like horrible at the original is when it gives you like the episode previews and that it tells you like three fourths of what's gonna happen in it. Like, you know, like, they will pretty much summarize the entire episode with, like, a clip, you know, like, with clips to go along with it. And, you know, like, you'll get pretty much up to the climax, if that makes sense. It's like, this bad thing happened, and Devil Man needs to do this, and that, and this, and this, and he starts doing this, and da 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 But once he finally confronts the bad guys, you know, he needs to come up with the plan, or whatever. Will he be able to do it? Da 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 da. Yes, please. I am quite serious. Oh my gosh. I'm not saying no, I'm saying when I got money. I can always go to the bank. But yeah, it's just. It's dumb. Like, if you watch the preview, you can probably guess what's gonna happen in the episode. Oh, is Devil Man gonna learn the super ultra move that lets him just finish off the bad guy finally? Yeah, he probably will, because it's not the last episode. So yeah, it's dumb stuff like that. It's like not really worth watching. Like a f few of my friends, like I watched it with like two of my friends, right? And like I made the joke like after we got through it that pretty much if you watch through Devil Man, like that should be considered a feat of strength. It's that difficult to sit through. So yeah. But then, you know, like I watched Devil Man Cry Baby and it was really good. I mean, I don't think... I'm probably not, like, the first person you've ever heard say that, but I really enjoyed watching it. Yes, Anka, please tell me. Please. Please. Yes, please. 
I got her with an amiibo card because I collected all of them before they got really popular. Yeah. Devilman Crybaby, though, it's, yeah. It definitely wasn't a stupid thing for, like, children to watch. It was very, very... It was, like, distressingly mature, let's say that. But yeah, I watched that, and like the other thing that I just just got done watching, who is our mystery villager? What was I gonna say next? We'll find out. Yeah, I don't care. I'll talk to you, but I do not care. The name's Keaton. Haha, -ha, that's how I laugh. I'll be here for a little while. If you cry, okay. He seems neat, but with only ten slots, I'm not interested. Yeah. Zombieland Saga. That was the other thing I watched. I thought it was just gonna be one of those... Yeah. I, I thought it was gonna be something different than what it was, I guess. Because, like, pretty much the premise is that, like, seven girls who died get brought back to life to form an idol group. I'll chat, I'll give them presents later. But yeah. So yeah, you like I hear that premise and I'm like, oh well, you know. Like I, I like Moe shows. If you don't know what that term means, it means you're not weave enough probably to, you know, even watch this episode. Which might not necessarily be a bad thing, so don't feel bad. But yeah, like, I like Moe episode, you know, like, Moe type series, but at the same time, you know, like, I don't know. They can get, like, a little weird, because things that, you know, like, most people I'd want to say would watch and be like, oh, that's super cute. Like, a lot of times they'll get a little too fan y and, you know, you just kind of watch them, and you're like, somebody's enjoying this a bit too much. So, you know, like, I watched it thinking that, you know, it'd just be kind of dumb, but probably, you know, like, kind of dumb, but, like, a fun little, a fun little thing to sit through. But, you know, there'd be, like, probably a lot of fan service -y scenes where it's like, yeah, somebody with, like, a really specific fetish, you know, is probably watching this and enjoying it a little too much. But, you know, like, there wasn't really many things that I saw in that show that was, you know, like, fe like sexy, fetishistic, whatever. <gasps> it's the boss. What is up? Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Like, I wasn't into Cat at first, but for some reason, you know, like, I... She just grew on me, I don't know, I looked up her design, I didn't want to, you know, have her in my town, and then... And then I just, you know, like, the sisterly personality combined with her look somehow... I don't know, I just really like Kat. If I ever had an older sister, which I don't because I'm the oldest sibling in my house... I would want it to be like Cat. Want her to be like Cat. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I might do that later. Yeah. So yeah, I was expecting. What do you got for me? You always try and sell me things that I have no interest in. What's with that? Yeah. So, yeah, like... It was a lot better than I thought. And, like, I will also say, though, like, Zombieland Saga, there was also, like, a part that... got me in my feels. If you know what I mean. Like, it actually kinda, you know... Felt a little emotional at points, which, you know, like, I just expected it to be like a stupid little throwaway anime that I probably would not think of much beyond when I watched like the 12 episodes. But like, once I was done, I was, you know, like, I don't know, I was like, well, I'm intrigued now. There's a few plot points that, you know, they didn't flesh out. 
and they even like ended in a place where it's like hmm this could be an issue going forward so you know like they obviously you know like plan to do a second season i think it's actually confirmed for one too and you know i'm actually looking forward to it so yeah i don't know Ooh, I want to get that centipede. I want to get that centipede, but first I need to get materials. Get that material. No, it disappeared! But yeah, I don't know. It just kind of made me come to the conclusion, though, that it might not be that I've grown out of anime. I just might have grown out of certain types of anime. The types that all young men watch when, you know, they're going through puberty and... It doesn't take much to get them interested in things. Maybe I'll leave this now, I'll kick the stump up. But yeah, I'm talking like the harems and the like. I used to like really be into them, but you know, for obvious reasons, harem anime, I mean. But, yeah, I don't know, like... They're pretty much just an excuse for anime titties. I don't think that's too controversial a statement. Come on, fingies. Bury in hole. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of at, like, the point where there's, like, a part of me that's just like, well, maybe I should get into anime again. Maybe that is something I should do. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad being a weeb. Watching a few things, like I said, now. I have a list of other things. I actually found, like, the one site that I'm on has, like, all the Mega Man Battle Network stuff. Although in various forms. Yeah. So I can watch Mega Man NT Warrior on this site. I didn't mean to grab the flower, but okay. Then I can switch over to Japanese subs for access, stream, and Beast is the last one. Then they also have... The Star Force one. They had that both the English dub and the Ryusei no Rockman sub. Both series of that and the Japanese, at least. And I kind of want to watch both. I mean, the sub and the dub, because I swear they, like... I think I did used to watch, like, the sub. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so he's talking about Red. But yeah, like, I think I remember watching, like, the sub, well, yeah, the subs back in the day, and then, like, they had a special night where they had, like, a dub on, like, Cartoon Network, and they were just, like, machine gunning them. And yeah, when they did that, you know, like, I thought I remember noticing some differences, like, I think they might have even, like, switched up, like, some of the episode orders and everything, so I might just want to watch both to, like, see the difference between the two. Okay, I have a checklist of what I need. The Spino to Actually, I can do the checklist when I edit this later. Yeah, I don't know. Like, for the first time in a while, I'm, like, actually interested in watching, like... Anime. Not just the, oh, hey, they finally started doing Dragon Ball again, but, like, you know. Just... Casually watching anime, not like, oh, well, there, you know, I don't typically watch anime, but this is gonna be, like, the one thing that I come back to it for. Just this. I'm not watching anime, I'm just watching, like, one Dragon Ball movie. I'll pick fruit later. Hey, not there. Hey, not there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, yeah, it's it's nice to be able to, like, look forward to something. Like, you know. Like, watch, like, watching the series and everything. For, like, a while, I was just kind of watching, you know, random stuff that other people told me I should watch. Or, like, you know. Or fit into something else, like, you know, random Marvel crap. And now it's just like, hmm. I'm actually just, I'm intrigued for the sake of being intrigued. 
So yeah, it's a pleasant, pleasant the feeling. Anyway, hmm. Anyway, I think I'm done for now. Actually. You're a pretty cool cat. Take the centipede! That's rad as heck, man. That's rad as heck. So many people have pets that are named after me. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope I wasn't too incoherent with my, you know, random anime ramblings, especially as I'm trying to, like, also sorta kinda play confidently. Not that this is too complex a game. But yeah. Hope you had fun. I didn't totally not have fun. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for whatever comes next.